In this video, I'll show you how to use an Xbox Series S or X controller on your PC. I will be covering two methods in this video, the first one being a wired method and the second one being a Bluetooth connection. I need to mention, and you need to understand this, for the second method, the Bluetooth method, you must have a Bluetooth dongle or a motherboard in your PC that supports Bluetooth. Otherwise, you won't be able to use your controller wirelessly on your PC. So first off, let's get our controller. And after we have gotten our controller, here is our wire. This wire is USB to USB-C. And most people will usually use the charging wire that comes with a console. So you take the USB-C part of it and you stick it into the controller at the top. Then after you have done that, you take the USB part let me take it just a second and you take this part and plug it into your pc and now for the second method then we move down to the left and we press the search button on the taskbar when we open that up in the in the search we write settings and we open up the application then when we get here we open up the second section from the top in the first row called devices then we need to make sure that we are in this section right here called Bluetooth and other devices. After we get here, we go and press the plus button. And then when we get to this pop-up right here, we select everything else. Now let's jump to our com camera to show you how to put your controller into pairing mode. And now we are back on our camera. As you can see, it's currently looking for a device. I hold this button that will make my controller into parry mode and as soon as it starts blinking it means that it's in pairing mode after your pc will find it it will show up right here and you can select it and that is it for the pairing using wireless for me it's not showing up because i sadly don't own a bluetooth dongle or a bluetooth supporting motherboard you should have now successfully connected your Xbox controller to your PC. So what you can do is now load up a game and start using your Xbox controller. You may need to go into that specific game settings and go and adjust the controller settings for it to be perfect. However, if you want to go and set your controller up for Steam, we're going to show you how you can do that now. Now that you have connected your controller using one of the two methods, you need to connect it to Steam as well. Now navigate to the top left and select the Steam button in the top left. Go back to the top left and click the Steam button, click the Settings button. After you have clicked this button, navigate on the left until you see the controller section. Open up the controller section and right here select Enable Steam Input for Xbox controllers. Let's select it. If you are playing games that are not connected to Steam, you, sh you should be able to flawlessly use your Xbox controller anyways, but you might experience some issues in regards to the controls that could be easily changed going in into the game's settings where you will find the controller section where you can edit everything that you'd like. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.